Hello everybody and welcome to your 30th chapter in your Java E7 tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about accessing REST web resources with the Java RS client API. So JaxRS provides a client API to allow access to REST resources from other Java applications. So taking an overview of the client API, the following steps are needed to access a REST resource using the client API. First, you need to obtain an instance of the client interface. Then you have to configure the client instance with a target. And then you have to create a request based on the target. And then finally, invoke the request. In this example over here, you can see that first of all, we create a client instance. This new instance uh, defines the needs that a REST client requires to use a RESTful web service. Next, we create a target that is set upon the instance. This target is set using the URI that is set during the runtime. Next, we have to uh, basically like set a request, which is configured off the target over here. And this sets the media type. In this case, we'll be looking at this media type. This would be just plain text. Finally, you invoke the request, which uh, this dot get method invokes the service using an HTTP get request. Now looking into using this client API in the Jax RS example applications. So if you remember from the previous episode, we had covered the RSVP example where an invitee can respond to an invite whether or not he will arrive or not. In the status managed CDI ma uh, backing bean, uh, it retrieves all the current events from the system. Here you can see that it first calls the resource by its URI, which is shortened to all, but the full form would be HTTP localhost 8080 RSVP web API status all. And then it requests it in an XML format. Then this XML format is then converted into a list, which is then shown to you as a list, uh, as a table. Then there's a status man manager dot change status, which is used to update the client's response choice. All this does is it creates a HTTP post request to the service with the new response. Basically, it changes up whatever you uh, you selected and it basically changes the table that you saw before. And that's it. That's all there is about accessing REST resources using the Jax RS client API. In the next tutorial, we'll be talking about more advanced topics on this Jax RS. But until then, I will see you in the next video.